jawline check there, guys. Yep, jawline still there, man. It's not as sharp as C Boogie's, but shout out C Boogie. That was a good video today. But I want to talk about something really quick before I go to work. I don't have a whole lot of time to drop a 20 minute video today. I'm hella busy. But I want to let you guys know that other men that are not your friend, a man you don't know, he is your competition for pussy. He is, he is your competition. Think about it. Who invented the apps that turned a lot of men in cell? It wasn't women who invented these apps. It was men. Who invented all this shit around just to impress women? A car, a plane, so they can have a better life plus the, the fighter pussy in life. Who did that? Huh? It wasn't women did that. It was another man who invented all of these things. The apps, the dating apps, Facebook. These were inventions by men or invented by men. So you, when you don't look at another man as your competition and you, you don't, you, you refused to get out here and compete, you will get the less of the less. You would get the, the, uh, what they call it, the, the short end of the stick. If you're not rich, and if you're rich, then you don't have to compete. You can sit back and let the bitches come to you. You know, you don't have to compete with other men once you get rich. I mean, you, you're competing with other rich men, but it's, it won't be, you know, all fucked up like it is now where you don't have shit. And you're competing against rich men. You're competing against uh, Chaz and Tyrones. Chaz and Tyrones don't even have no money, and they can still get pussy. Chaz and Tyrones are your are your competition. Rich men are your competition. So it's like you know, if a woman w was just was to uh, decide if she was to, to uh, sorry, if she was to decide between you and Tyrone or you and Chad, she would go with Chad in a heartbeat. But if you raise your value as a man, then if you're rich and, you know, Chad just got looks or whatever, or Tyrone just, just has looks, then she will have to go with you because you're rich. You pull up in a Lamborghini and you're average looking, you're fuckable, you got six pack abs and you know what I'm saying? Then she'll go with you. She have to go with you. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you don't have that competitive spirit and you don't want to compete against other men, it's going to be a long life of looking in the mirror and a long life of looking at Chaz and Tyrone's and other rich men get the women that they desire. Because I know we all want the woman... That we desire. We want that cute girl. We want that fine girl. That the Chaz and Tyrone's be walking with. That the rich man be walking with. We want that. We want that. Just got through eating lunch. We want that man. You know what I mean? And for motherfuckers to sit back. And don't get the women that they desire. Hey, that'll make you one mad. Un unhappy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So other men. Or your competition. And you have to compete. You have to get in that gym. Get them six pack abs popping. Especially if you're a black man. You have to get that fucking. You especially have to get them, them six packs. You got to get them biceps popping. You got to get into full flesh shape. This is the world we live in there. A competitive world. Don't let these other MGTOW guys. Tell you not to compete. Because. That's not making your life better. Getting out here, getting out here and competing, that'll make your life better. And believing in yourself. Never have self self doubt. You always believe you can win. No matter who's up against you, man. 
Believe that you are a fucking champion and then you will achieve it. You will get it. You will get the bitch that you desire. Do what you got to do, man. I'm out with this video. I'm just letting you guys know that other men are the competition, not women. We're not competing against women. We're competing against other men. A lot of guys got it twisted. They thinking you out there seeking validation from women and shit. No. It goes both ways. We seek validation from women and then and women seek validation from us. It don't, it don't, it, it's not like you at the end. You only look pathetic if you fat, not of shape, you don't got no money, you no know, job or nothing, and you approach a woman for validation. That's pathetic. But if you got your shit together, you approach a chick with confidence, she see that nice fly car, she see you got a nice apartment somewhere, it's all game. Your chances of getting that bitch goes higher. But the, all this time is going by, and a lot of you motherfuckers, um, you incel motherfuckers, because I used to be incel. Uh, I'm not going to be making myself seem like I'm better than you guys, but a lot of you guys don't want to change. You don't want to compete. You don't want to get out here and do your thing. You know what I mean? You stay behind closed door. You play video games all day long. Okay, well, don't complain about women not liking you. You don't want to get out here and, and, and become a, a multi-millionaire. You don't want to try to figure that out. You don't want to try to, like, get resources and stuff. Don't complain about women not liking you. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Compete. Compete, compete, compete. I'm out. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Click the notification bell button so you will never, ever miss another video from me. And I'm out. And donate to the channel if you can. For people, for you guys who enjoy this uh, content, donate. My PayPal link will be in the description bo box if I figure it out. How to put that? <laughs> Cause I don't know. How, I don't know how to do it with my phone. So, anything, one or two dollars, three dollars, it don't matter. As long as you give. Some in my eye. You know what I'm saying? It helps speed speed things up. All right, peace out.